this video I will show you how to use my lower thirds pack for YouTubers in Premiere Pro. So after downloading you will get a zip folder and then you need to extract that zip folder and after that you will get a folder like lower thirds for youtubers just open it and inside it you will find all these presets and this is the help file so you can just go through with this one obviously this is the tutorial to help you to learn how to use it and install it all right so these are the mogget files which we need to install on premiere pro so let's jump to the premiere pro all right so now let me show you how you can install them and use them so there are basically three ways to installing the mogget files in premiere pro so if you are using the older version the number one just go to the essential graphics panel and if it is not visible over here just go to the windows and select the essential graphics that way this panel would be available right over here so you have to come down over here on the plus icon just click on this plus icon and browse the downloaded folder wherever you have downloaded these presets select one of these presets and click open and that way this would be available right over here now let me show you the second way of installing the mogut files in premiere pro and that is if you are using the latest version of the premiere pro in that case you can drag and drop all of these files on the essential graphics panel and that way these would be available right over here now let me show you the third and the easiest way of installing it that way it has the it will have the less load on your system as it would be browsed or linked to the original location where you have downloaded it instead of moving that into your c drive and that way is simply going to the essential graphics click on this hamburger menu click on the manage additional folders and another panel would be open right over here click on this add button and browse the downloaded folder location and click on the select folder and then press ok that way also all of these lower thirds or the mogget files would be available in the instantial graphics panel and they are ready to use now let me show you how to use them and customize according to your own preference and these are very simple and easy to use so now let me show you the first one just simply drag and drop over your timeline or in your sequence my best seamless transition pack this transition pack has 400 plus elements which includes transitions LUT presets motion graphics and title presets these are very amazing and cool seamless transitions you can easily use these transition over your video just drag and drop and you are good to go so if you are using the old default transitions then stop using them and try this best seamless transition pack 
and take your videos to the next level. So once inst once dropped over your timeline, just let's see how it looks. So this is how it looks. Just click on this file and then go to the essential graphics panel and in the edit option, you will have the text one. So you can customize this text according to your own liking. You can write your own name right over here. And the fonts which I have used in this project are the Montserrat and the Integral CF. You can download both of these fonts from the link provided within the downloaded folder. All right. If you don't want to install these fonts, you can use your own fonts as well. As you can see over here, you will click on this. You will see all the fonts which have been installed on your system or you can simply get it from the Adobe as well. Then we have the option to make it bold. We can increase its size. We can make it smaller. We can make it italic. We can make it Fox bold. Okay. And all these options are available. Then we have the option of positioning. So suppose uh, you want to move it a little bit on the X side. So you can just drag it this way. If you want to make it little up, up in the vertical position, then you can drag and slide these option Y position. And then we have the second text you can change it to something like anything like uh, logger okay and this would be updated right over here then we have again option to change the font if you don't like this font you can change any other font then we have the option to change it to let's say make it little thinner if you want to make it light you can choose this one so all these options are available again we have the all options fox bold italic and uh, uh, you can make them all caps etc then we have the position for the second text as well x position and the y position you so you can adjust all of these and then we have the option of color so you need to click on this and that would open the color parameters so first we have the color of uh, the first text so you can change this uh, to something like this red okay it would be updated and then we have the line color so we can change the line color as well if you click on this and you can make it something like this and line color would also be changed then we have the option of overall scaling so you can make it smaller or larger depending on your need and you can even adjust the position so if you want to place it right over here just place it over here with the help of for these x and y positions okay so this was the first one and all of these are the similar way you can uh, just adjust them so let me show you the another one if i just drag it over here and if you play it you can see this is how it looks all right so if you click on this file again go to the essential graphics in the edit panel first we have the option of text so if you open this you have the option to change the text again you can write your name right over here and then we have the option to change fonts etc and everything and over here we have the option to change the text too we can adjust this position as well and we have the color so if you want to change this color from red to let's say something like this you can do this it would be updated you can change the color of the shape as well and you can see it has been updated so basically the idea and the method of using all of these are exactly the same so you can use them and customize the text as your own liking and if you have any question you can always leave that in the comment section or you can reach out to me on instagram my id is at harshwardhanart or you can directly email me as well and my email id is harsh at harshwardhanart.com and harshwardhanart at gmail.com so all of these are right now on your screen download it use it and do let me know and don't forget to leave the review as well so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next video my best seamless transition pack this transition pack has 400 plus elements which includes transitions LUT presets motion graphics and title presets these are very amazing and cool seamless transitions you can easily use these transition over your video just drag and drop and you are good to go so if you are using the old default transitions then stop using them and try this best seamless transition pack and take your videos to the next level